Hi guys and welcome to Cooking with Karma. Now last week I showed you how to make that deliciously crunchy homemade coleslaw and today we're going to make some very tasty pulled pork. The two together will make a pulled pork and coleslaw slider. Now the great thing about cooking in a slow cooker or a crock pot is they do all the work for you. You've got to love that. So let's get started and make some pulled pork. First up into a bowl we're going to add in the smoked paprika, the salt and the pepper, the mustard powder and garlic salt and give those a good mix together until everything is well combined and break up any lumps. To that we're then going to add in the vinegar, the oil, the honey and give those a good mix together. Then finally I'm going to add a little dash of Worcestershire sauce and some barbecue sauce. Then give that one final mix until everything is well combined. Now for this recipe I'm using shoulder on the bone but I am going to cut off most of the fat. Then we're going to take some of our delicious sauce and using a pair of gloves we're going to give that a good rub into the meat. Repeating on both sides until it's well covered. Then all we need to do is place our meat into our slow cooker on top of one chopped up onion and pour over the rest of the sauce. Then all you need to do is pop the lid on. Now I'm cooking this on high for three hours and then on low for three hours, making sure to turn over about halfway through. When the meat starts to pull away with a fork, you know it's done. Let the meat rest for about 10 minutes and then you're ready to shred it up. Now with the sauce still left in the pan, I like to drizzle it over the pork to keep it nice and juicy. Then you're ready to place some of that delicious pork onto a bun. Add on that fresh and crunchy coleslaw, pop the lid on and then you are ready to indulge. So juicy and tender and packed full of flavour. The combination of the coleslaw and the pork make for one tasty slider and they're both so easy to make. So I really hope you give it a go. Thanks again for joining me. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you all next time on Cooking with Karma.